the final race of the week is the two mile six furlong bet with us at Sky Betting Chase. It's a 0 to 120, and it's a massive fill for a 0 to 120. Bernie Spann up the top for David Robertson, Langley Star, Graham Clutterbuck, ready to go, Badger and Gogan, Biller a Tudor, Graham Clutterbuck, Crogging Detail, James Shea, Bookshot, Daniel French, Roller Six, Craig Beckwith, Elvis the Lockley, front runner, Martin Lillard, Zena Marbell, Badger and Gogan, Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, Unix Picasso, Alex Cherry, Quota Ainder, for James Shea, and Liam Crescent, Derek Hinton, Fearless Paul Parsons, Tangled Martin Leland, Rhythmic Room, Alex Cherry, and Thunder Rosa for Matt Cooper. A field of 17 then for the Week 12 finale. Just next week to go. Uh, they're away, and racing season's sort of flown by, really. And it's going to be Elvis. He's going to put his best foot forward. His blue suede shoes into the lead. And over they go. The first to four for Elvis last week winning our Hunter back in the handicap company this week they've already negotiated two of the 17 fences and they're heading towards the third and Elvis is setting the pace as he usually does from Langley Star who's about five lengths back in second then Olive Oil is third they're spread right across the track as you might well expect they would be with a field this size the back marker early on is Thunder Rosa and it's Elvis who's in front Probably a line of four of them spread right across the track here in second. The closest to us is Langley Star, then Rhythmic Room, then Olive Oil, and on the far side is Anderley M. Crescent in the pink and black. Tucked in behind them, Tangled in the red rum colours, then Croggy in detail, and Bookshot Fearless is next. And on the near side, Bernie Span in an almost luminous blue and well, turquoise blue and mauve hoops. Mauve purple lilac, well, that's what shade of purple they are. And they get over the next, ah, there's a mistake there by Rhythmic Room. As they get to the next, that's the fifth. All safely over it, we're ready to go now. The back marker, Elvis clear in front, oh, good eight lengths there. The Rhythmic Room is in second, and Liam Crescent is third. Wide on the track, Billa a Tudor. Stable companion of Langley Star as they get over the Grand National Star fence. And there's a fall of their Unix Picasso has gone. So Unix Picasso is out of it. Not painting a very nice picture for Alex Cherry because he hasn't got any. Oh, yeah, he has got another one. He's got rhythmic room. So he's still got a chance to get a win. And Elvis is in front from rhythmic room second. And Liam Crescent is third. Then Bernie Spam the top weight on the inside with Roller Six getting much closer. Then Langley Star and Thunder Rosa Bookshot is in that group with Fearless as well there. Pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the leader Elvis and he's just been given a bit of a mid-race breather and has come back to within three lengths of the rest of them. But really a tap that fence, the mistake there was by Anderley Ebb Crescent and that one's now shuffled back into the pack as Elvis attacks these fences and goes 4-5 clear again to Rhythmic Room, Zena Marbell has now come through quietly into third as they take the 10th of the 17 quote it Ainder towards the back made a bit of a mess of that one but it's going to be Elvis who leads them past the winning post with a complete circuit to go one more circuit and then week 12 will be in the book the big finals next week the Moors Millions and the starters orders races Elvis in the lead. Also, it's the kind of French version of the Cheltenham Festival next week, isn't it, as well? So, lots of good racing to come still in the final week. And Elvis is the leader from Zena Marbell in second. Then Rhythmic Room is third. Bernie Span. And then Tangled, Bookshot and Fearless as they continue down this back straight over that one. Elvis chucked it really well and got away from it well. And it's five clear of Zena Marbell, who's second. Tangled has moved through into third. As they get over the 12th, as a fall of air, Billa Tudor's gone. Uh, Billa Tudor crashes out for Gray, he's still got another one in there. And it's Elvis, and stable companion Tangled is the one who's coming through to challenge now. 
And they're being tracked by Anderley of Crescent, Zena Marbell, then Langley Star, who's going well, ready to go. He's getting into it as they take that Grand National Fence, and something went there. It was Langley Star. So bad luck for Grey Lost. Both of his as Elvis and Tangle dispute the lead. Elvis and Tangled from Anderley M. Crescent, Zena Marbell, Roller Six. He's running on around the outside with ready to go. Quota Ainder is also running on. So two rhythmic room trying to get back into it. Wide open this one as they take the turn into the straight. They've got three to get over, and Tangled has taken it. Elvis is in second. Then comes Zena Marbell and ready to go. Roller six is looking a big danger on the outside as they come into the straight. Tangled has gone on. Tangled in front. Elvis trying to battle back over on this near side. Ready to go over the third last they go. Tangled landed in the lead, but ready to go looks to be going the better of the two as they get over the second last. Tangled over on the far side. Down this near side. Ready to go. Roller six. Elvis is still there. So is Anderley in prison. This is the final fence. Tangled gets over it in the lead. Tangled's gone two to three clear and. Tangled is starting to pull away as they race into the final furlong and Tangled is well clear of Anderley M. Crescent in second, Butcher is in third, then Roller six and up towards the line the final race of the week is going to go to Tangled and Tangled wins it from Butchot second, Anderley M. Crescent third, then Roller six for Elvis was after that, Thunder Rosa, Olive Oil all the way back to Croggy in detail and it's taken me all week to commentate on a winner for myself over the fences. Uh, it's the final race of the week. It's happened and Tangled is the horse of my fancy for next week's starters orders chase final but never managed to get a, get a qualified which is a complete disaster on my part. I should have got in that on a lovely weight even with probably a 8 to 10 pound rise for that but anyway you can't win them all Tangled wins it for Martin Eden Bookshot for Daniel French was second and the Lieb Crescent for Derek Hinton was third Roller 6, Craig Breck with 4th, Elvis was 5th, and we'll be back next week for the final week of the season.